Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovering science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today I'm going to tell you about comets. Comets are celestial objects that over the sun thought are made out of frozen gases, rock, and dust that came from the solar system when it was first created. The typical comet has a core that is a few miles in diameter. Comets are often called the dirty snowballs of the solar system. The word comet comes from the Greek word cometes, which means long hair. This is because of how a comet's tail can look like long, flowing locks of hair. Comets originate far out of the solar system, some from the so-called Kuiper Belt of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune, and others come from a more distant region known as the Oort Cloud. Comets are usually divided into two groups determined by the type of orbits they have. The first type of comet is called the short period comet. Short period comets have orbits of less than 200 years. Some have very short orbits of just a few years. These types of comets originate from the Kuiper belt. The second type of comet is the long period comet. Long period comets have orbits of greater than 200 years. Some long-period comets have orbits of thousands of years. Scientists think that long-period comets come from the Oort cloud. Usually, comets are fairly happy orbiting far out at the edge of the solar system, about 4 trillion miles from Earth. But sometimes, they swoop in towards the Sun. As the comet nears the Sun, its ices will begin to heat up and turn into gases and plasma. These gases form a large glowing head around the comet that is called a coma. As the comet speeds through space, sunlight blows gases and dust from this coma to create a spectacular tail. Some tails reach 100 million miles long and can be seen from Earth. Most comets have two streaming tails, a blue one made of gas and a white one made of dust. Eventually, the ice will burn off a comet and it will just be a metallic rock with no coma or tail. These comets are said to have gone extinct. Comets are named after their discoverer, either a person or a spacecraft. This guideline was developed only in the last century. For example, the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, discovered in 1993, was named as such because it was the ninth short periodic comet discovered by Eugene Carolyn Shoemaker and David Levy. Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 was a short period comet. In July 1994, Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 slammed into Jupiter after breaking apart into many pieces. One of the most famous comets is Halley's Comet. Halley is classified as a short period comet. Halley's Comet has an orbit of 76 years and is visible from Earth as it passes by. It is responsible for the ornate meteor shower that occurs in October. The comet Hawataki was discovered on January 30, 1996 by Yuji Hawataki, an amateur astronomer from southern Japan. Hawataki is a long period comet. Before its most recent passage through the solar system, its orbital period was about 15,000 years, but the gravitational influence of the giant planets has now increased this to 72,000 years. Comet Ison was a sun-grazing comet from the Oort cloud discovered on September 21, 2012. Comet Ison was expected to put on a spectacular show in Earth's sky in late 2013. However, shortly after rounding the sun's far side, on November 28, 2013, 
the comet faded, torn apart by the star's immense gravity. Comets are beautiful, but in the distant past, they were also perceived as terrifying. Until the 16th century, comets were often considered bad omens, such as the death of kings, coming catastrophes, or even interpreted as tax by heavenly beings. Thank you for watching this episode of Adventurous Kids. What did you learn today? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous Kids. Adventurous Kids. Adventurous. Adventurous.